Welcome to the pipetting tutorial how to pipe it correctly. I'm using a two button pipette. It has a control button with two stops and an ejector button. Pipetting starts when you attach the tip. Apply light pressure to insert the pipette into the tip. There is no need for force or moving from side to side. This would only strain your arm and damage the pipette. When aspirating liquid, two factors influence accurate liquid uptake. The aspiration angle and the immersion depth. The aspiration angle should be vertical. Otherwise, too much liquid is aspirated. The immersion depth, meaning the depth of the piper tip inside the liquid, should be as large as necessary, but as small as possible. If the tip is immersed too deeply, additional liquid can be easily aspirated due to the capillary effect. Press the control button down to the first stop and immerse the tip into the liquid. Once the aspiration angle and immersion depth have been checked, slowly release the control button. Press the control button down to the first stop again and aspirate once more. Repeat this two to three times to saturate the air in the tip. When dispensing liquid, the angle of the pipette should be between 20 and 45 degrees, whilst the tip should stay in contact with the vessel wall. This guarantees optimal flow out of the liquid into the target vessel. Press the control button down to the first stop. Then perform the blowout by pressing further down to the second stop. This ensures that the tip is emptied completely. The last step during pipetting is ejection of the tip into a garbage bin by pressing the ejector button. Achieve accurate and reliable pipetting results with soft tip attachment, vertical aspiration, a low immersion depth and a 20 to 45 degree dispensing angle directly in contact with the vessel wall. So, improve your pipetting skills.